Well, hello my darlings and welcome back to a fashion video. It's been a while and I feel like every time I do a fashion video I say it's been a while but there's been so much to vlog lately. However, I'm trying to get ahead with my vlogging so I thought I would sneak in a fashion video today. So I hope you don't mind. It is also that time of year where my wardrobe goes <laughs> like that. It just hugely expands because I'll hold my hands up and admit I have got a problem when it comes to buying spring and summer dresses so you're going to see quite a few of those in today's video. If you have been keeping very regularly updated with the vlogs then you may recognise a few of these pieces but there are some extra new pieces in today's video as well so I am going to be sharing with you what's new in my wardrobe as well as a few favourites which I've maybe had in my wardrobe for a few weeks or months um, but you guys may not have spotted and price point wise we have everything from around the £30 mark all the way up to probably the nearly a thousand pound mark so there is something in this video for everyone as i've started to do with the fashion videos there will be a little number in the corner of the screen and that number you can find that number in the description box down below and everything within that outfit will be linked in the description box down below according to the number so hopefully that makes it super easy for you guys to shop Ooh, that was a long sentence without taking a breath i'm out of practice okay darlings so without further ado let's get started and this dress i wore very recently to the opening of a restaurant one of charlie's family friends opened the ivy in windsor if you are going to windsor i would so highly recommend a visit it's quite literally opposite the castle. Top tip, if you go there for breakfast any day of the week, make sure you're there for 11.30am because then you'll get to see the changing of the guards. Ask for a window seat. That wouldn't be my top tip, but it's going to be a huge success. But anyway, we were very kindly invited to the opening night and this is the dress that I wore. Had so many questions on Instagram about where the dress is from and it really is one of those super easy to wear dresses with a silhouette that I love. I love a square neckline, I love a puff sleeve, I love a smocked bodice and I love a mid axi length. You're gonna see this silhouette quite a lot in today's video. If you're planning on eating a lot, it also expands with you thanks to the smocking. So for me, that is just amazing for it being super duper comfortable. And the way that the fabric is gathered in the skirt gives it the most beautiful movement. It's got a very delicate pattern, all these little blue and red flowers, which I think is so, so pretty. And on the evening, as always, I styled it with my little Valentino straw bag and I think I wore these. My Aquazura straw heels, which are just my absolute favorite shoes at the moment. The heel is not too high, so they're incredibly comfortable to wear all day long. I did get a little blister when I first wore them because I, I ran in them, which <laughs> I wouldn't recommend on your first wear, um, but you guys, if you know me well, know my love for raffia and I do think it is the ultimate neutral when it comes to summer accessories. Okay, up next is a dress that I'm sure many of you will recognise. It has been coined the Josie dress because I have been wearing it so much and have it in every single colour. The latest addition to my Josie dress collection is this, which confusingly online is called the sage, sage colour. However, I must say, I feel that the one that I bought before this in the slightly more sagey colour, which is called Army Green, I feel like they should rename that one Sage, and this one should be like Eucalyptus or Mint Ice Cream or something. Even though it's not the colour that it says it is, I still absolutely love it. I think it's such a fresh and such a lovely colour and very similar silhouette to the last dress. It's not quite as elasticated on the sleeves, so you can't really create such a, a bouffant um, on the sleeves, but again, you've got the smocked bodice and the same kind of length. And these dresses are so affordable. They usually are around the £35 price mark. If you've seen the vlogs, you'll know that I just wear them every single day. They wash really easily as well, so I'm not afraid of gardening in them. I'm not afraid of getting a little bit of soil on these dresses. So quick and easy to throw on, much quicker than pulling on leggings and a jumper. So yeah, perfect every day around the house dresses. But also whenever I go anywhere, if I'm at Dalesford or something, people will always stop and ask where the dress is from, even though the material doesn't look expensive. It's just a really striking dress. So this is probably, probably the ninth in my collection, but I will leave all of the colors linked down below. Well, let's just get the predictable one out of the way. There is never a Josie spring summer fashion video without a white dress, and this one ticks 
all of the boxes. It is in my favourite spring summer fabric, which is of course Broderie Anglais. I think it is so elegant, timeless and feminine. My three favourite words when it comes to describing outfits. By the way, I'm really self-conscious about my hair today. I feel like it's gone really limp. <laughs> it's not very voluminous. I am trying really hard to just pause on the heat styling for a little while because I feel that I've overdone it. Um, so this was yesterday's heatless wave. This side has a lot more wave than this side, but never mind. We're just going to roll with it. Back to the dress. The only thing I would change is the neckline um, because it's a little bit of a little bit of a slightly skew F V going on here, and I do at the moment just prefer a square neckline. But never mind. Um, we have got the puff sleeves. We have got a beautiful bow to cinch you in around the waist, which gives the most beautiful silhouette and another really lovely feminine design detail, which I adore. The most beautiful length, and if you can see from the full length clip, it um, has a little frill down at the bottom, which adds to an almost mermaid-like silhouette. But darlings, can I draw your attention to the shoes? Yes, I am now officially in love with Aquazura, a new shoe obsession. The same brand and very similar style to the rattan ones that I just showed you. Here is a little close-up. I was planning on waiting to show you these for a video that I have coming up with Farfetch. So yes, there will be a 10% Farfetch discount code coming in about a week or so, so keep a look out for that because you can get these with that code. I have been keeping an eye on Aquazura since adding these to my collection and falling in love with them. And I saw these and I thought, I don't have any green shoes. And yet I do love green, <laughs> so why not add a pair to my collection? The heel is probably double the height of my original pair, which means that they are great for more special occasions if I'm not going to be doing quite so much walking, but I probably wouldn't wear these walking around town for a day in London, for example. They have got a lovely, very, very cushioned sole, so they are super comfortable, and if you love mules like me, um, then I think these are a fabulous pair to add to a collection. They look gorgeous with a white dress, but they also work with so many of the other outfits in my wardrobe, so I'll show you a few different ways of styling these throughout today's video. Sticking with the green and white colour scheme, up next is a dress that has been in my collection for a little while. I just shared a photo in this on my Instagram yesterday, however I feel that it's not been given the love or attention that it deserves here on my YouTube channel. <laughs> This dress is from a Charleston-based brand called Parterre, which just so happens to be co-founded by my favourite girl on the internet, Julia Berylsheimer, previously Julia Engel, founder of the Girl Meets Glam blog. I've been talking about Julia for years, literally years. If anyone's ever asked me who I look up to for style inspiration and life inspiration, it is Julia. And her dresses are all absolutely gorgeous. Her brand is heavenly. And of course, when I saw this dress, I had to add it to my collection because it is, it's a Josie dress. It really is so easy to wear. Really lovely, light cotton fabric, a bow to cinch you in around the silhouette, around the waist rather. Um, on the website, you can also see ladies styling this dress without the waist belt if you prefer something a lot looser. And once again, because of its easy to care for material, you can wear it around the house, cooking, gardening, doing all your daily errands. I'm gonna wear this today to go to the garden center. What a surprise. I just absolutely love it. The pattern is beautiful as well. It's this kind of, a little bit like a floral toile de jouy is what I'm going to call it. A slight puff to the sleeves, a very delicate little V-neck, gorgeous elegant length and pockets. So Julia, of course, you have done a fabulous job and I just love wearing this dress. I could wear it all day, every day. Next, we have another US-based brand and this is a dress from Misa London. It's a brand that I follow on Instagram. They have a very relaxed kind of Californian, very almost bohemian style of vibes, which I absolutely love. And because this dress is long sleeve, I feel that it's great for this transitional period where actually the temperatures on a day like today, for example, can still be quite chilly, but you just want something on your skin. And then also because of the colors of this dress, a little bit more warm tone, you've got some ambers, some oranges, some browns in here. I think this will be a really lovely one as we go from summer into autumn as well. So a great dress for that late August, September, October time of year too. Silhouette wise, as I mentioned, you have got long sleeves. You can see it's a beautiful, fairly sheer fabric. It didn't come with a slip. However, I have added my own underneath. Luckily, I've got a drawer full of Plenty in all different colours, a little bit shirt style on the bodice, and then it did have, it's got a smocked waist, but <clears throat> 
I wanted to cinch it in even further, so I've added my usual Zimmerman belt. One of you guys actually messaged me on Instagram with a high street, must be half past 10, they're calling everyone to church, um, a high street version of this belt. So I will leave it linked down below. And again, you've got the most beautiful frills going down to the bottom of this maxi length dress. And again, I've paired it with the Aquazura Raffia heels. We are just loving the green and white at the moment. This is another Amazon dress. It was served to me by the algorithm, which now knows my style very well. I do love gingham, whether it's in outfits or tableware. And I thought the colors of this were just really, really sweet. It needed the waist belt, so you can get a version of this on Amazon as well. So in this outfit number, I will leave the Amazon version linked down below in case you wanna check out all in one go. This dress is not perfect. I wish that the neckline came down a little bit lower. Um, I prefer it to be kind of like there, an inch lower. <laughs> but I think if you have got maybe a larger chest, then this could be better for you. You can, of course, um, actually you can bring it down a little bit by wearing the sleeves off the shoulder. Another, actually, yeah, I think I prefer how it looks this way round. Once again, a little bit of a puff to the sleeve, no pockets in this one. The material does feel a little bit cheaper, but it is cheaper, so, you know, <laughs> you have to bear all of those things in mind. And then lengthwise, again, really lovely midi length, and I've paired it with my Amazon basket bag and my favourite little Amazon slip-on shoes. These have been one of my best Amazon fashion purchases lately. I wear them gardening, I wear them around the house, I wear them like slippers, I wear them driving. I wore them down to the beach to West Wishing last week and now they're filled with sand and looking a little bit worse for wear, but I think I'm actually gonna buy a second pair because I love them that much. I realize that every outfit that I've showed you so far is a dress, so I thought I would try to mix things up a little bit, but to be honest, I do end up wearing dresses 99% of the time at this time of year, even with this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to mix things together, I have to choose what goes with what, and my brain just could not handle that at this time on a Sunday morning. However, I saw these trousers on Karen Millen and I thought they looked absolutely lovely, perfect for workwear, perfect for any occasions when I do need to wear trousers, which is not very often. <laughs> but I thought they looked lovely nonetheless. If you do need to wear trousers for work, then actually I am very impressed with these. I would recommend swapping out the belt with one of your own. Um, for example, like my Loewe one, or if you're ultra bougie, perhaps the Hermes one, which would be a wonderful investment for elevating items like this because this belt is a little bit cheap. <laughs> However, the trousers themselves, they are a lovely silhouette. I love the color. The material is almost like a textured thick linen cotton. I absolutely love it and I have paired it with my Amazon shirt. Now a few of you have asked if the one that I'm linking is correct because apparently this looks quite different on the website to how it looks on me. <sighs> Amazon fashion can be a little bit strange at times, but I will leave the exact one that I have linked down below. It's a really lightweight, textured cotton. I like to roll it up at the sleeves. I sometimes just pop it over my shoulders when I'm gardening. It's cotton, but it does have a linen-y look because it is so textured. This is it straight out of the tumble dryer, so unironed, as crinkled as it gets, and I actually really like how it looks this way. Another Karen Millen piece next, and this is one from Lydia's collection. If you are on the lookout for a wedding guest dress, this is absolute perfection. Karen Millen at the moment have loads of amazing wedding guest outfit options. I'll pop a few of my other favorites up on the screen here. You will be spoiled for choice. Lydia's sort of everything when it comes to the design details on this dress. There's some beautiful design details. We've got the very Zimmerman-esque style sleeve where it's slightly voluminous and then you've got that um, pleated covered button detail down at the bottom here. The V-shaped pleats on the bodice, the bow to cinch you in around the waist. All the design details that I absolutely love. My only tiny niggle with this, and it really is tiny, is this little cap on the sleeves gives me the feeling as though my bra straps are slipping down because of this seam here, but that's literally the world's tiniest detail. The pattern on this is absolutely beautiful. It's almost like a kind of tropical flower print all over, which is so beautiful. And the material is a really lovely, super light cotton. So perfect for weddings on a warm summer day or in a warmer climate. 
And my second dress from Lydia's collection with Karen Millen is this beautiful long white dress. It is such an elegant design. The silhouette is so spot on. The skirt is really full. It has that magical movement. You can really swish it around and have loads of fun with it. And yet there's something quite smart and businessy about the top and I definitely think it is the pleating of the bodice which fits so perfectly you could all, it would definitely be worth taking this to the tailor and getting it fitted absolutely perfectly to your bodice um, I think I need to take mine up maybe about a few maybe a few centimeters at the bottom as well but the collar is definitely giving me those smarter vibes I love that we have the bow around the waist again and giving it that really gorgeous feminine design detail it just feels like such a beautiful again very timeless piece I think if you are doing a registry office wedding, then this could be the most fabulous wedding dress for that kind of occasion. But then equally, if you have got a work event to go to, if you're giving a presentation, <laughs> this would be a, fab a fabulous dress for that. Again, I've paired it with my green accessories, the Aquazura heels and the Loewe bag, and I love how the green and white go together. Up next, a little bit of a wild card for this video because it is nightwear. This is the most gorgeous nightie from a brand called If Only If, which is a small British based brand. I just love this little scallop design detail with the green trim, beautiful, lightweight, certified organic cotton nightdress with the same scallop detail down at the bottom. I think what I need to do is just a little pinch here just so that it's a little bit higher up on my tiny chest. <laughs> But that won't take much to do, but how lovely for those warm summer evenings. You don't want any tight material clinging to the body, something nice and breathable. This is definitely going to be coming with me on holidays, but also for those really warm evenings. And I'll feel just so lovely floating down for my morning coffee, my morning strolls around the garden in such a sweet and elegant little nightdress. Finally, another outfit which isn't a dress. The new item here is actually the skirt, which as you can see, is very, very roomy. I chose this one because it's really easy to pull on. I was imagining if I've been out in the garden and suddenly our guests arrive, then I can just pull this on really quickly and instantly elevate an outfit with this. It does have a very high slit, so in my case, a little bit of fake tan on the legs will be needed. And I've paired it with this square neckline vest top, which I've had for a couple of years now from Reese, and smartened it up again with the Loewe bag, which I did mention before, but I believe this is now back in stock. So this will be linked down below again for you. Up next, we have my favorite dress and quite possibly my favorite outfit of the moment. This is the dress that I ended up wearing to the Chelsea Flower Show and my goodness, I had so many people come up to me in real life, complimenting the dress, asking where it was from, and so many of you absolutely loved it on Instagram as well. So I'm glad the feeling is mutual. The design of this dress is just absolutely stunning, whether it's these giant Angel Gabriel-like big fluted sleeves or the button detail down the front. My only wish with dresses that have this stunning button detail, like the uh, Karen Millen one as well, is that you'd also put in a zip at the back because I'm so impatient and this takes a good minute <laughs> to do, which probably if you're wearing the dress all day long doesn't bother you, but when you're filming an outfit video and you're going through your dresses, it's one of those things I'm like, oh, this would be so much easier if I could zip myself in and out, but that's my only complaint. And maybe it should also come with a slip dress. Charlie's mum had to very delicately offer me a little skirt slip to wear to the flower show because otherwise my entire bottom would have been on display for the world. I paired it once again with my green accessories because I'm just loving this white and green. I actually wore my chunky block um, Valentino shoes to the flower show because they're a lot more comfortable for walking around in all day. But when I next wear this dress, um, I've got like a shopping evening at a friend's house next week and I think I'll wear this with these shoes because we'll probably spend most of the time um, sat down so that will be absolutely perfect. Once again this big bow to cinch you in around the waist, little pockets, the only thing is if you are going to take this with you um, for like an overnight stay or something I'd definitely recommend packing a steamer because it just looks a hundred times better and more fresh when it's not completely crumpled, which mine ended up being at the end of the day after wearing it to the flower show. This dress has only received the briefest of vlog mentions here on my channel so far, and it deserves so much more. This is actually one from my big net porter order that I never got around to showing you because it was the most disjointed way of showing you a net porter order 
that I've ever done. <laughs> so for that, I apologize. And this dress just did not get, didn't get the love. So I'm giving it the love now. I have never seen a dress with this kind of silhouette before. It is so unusual. So first of all, the sleeves start higher than the bodice, which is quite unusual. A really big, beautiful fluted sleeve down here some gorgeous pleating on the bodice, and then it goes straight down into, I don't really know what you'd call this silhouette actually, maybe you guys can help me out, but I love it, it's so different, it's so elegant, it's structured, but not, not too structured. You've got the structure of the pleating of the bodice, there's, there's actually boning in the bodice, um, but then the sleeves give it a little bit more of a bohemian look. I'm not sure where I'm gonna wear this, but I want to wear it a lot this summer. I really wish you could wear white to weddings. Not that I'm going to any weddings this summer. I must be the only person in the world. But all of my friends are already married. Most of them are anyway. Um, and unsurprisingly, just to show you the versatility of the accessories, I've paired it with the Luede bag and the Aquazura heels once again. Just to quickly, while we're here, shout out my earrings. These are from a really fun new collection with Missima. I've got a few things from this collection which I'll be showing you in more detail very soon. But they're like a wiggly hoop with white at the bottom and gold at the top, and I love them. I think they're so fun. They're a great way of adding something a little bit fun and unusual to an otherwise very elegant and timeless outfit. I wore this dress last weekend to celebrate my mum's birthday and I felt so wonderful in it. Not only is it incredibly comfortable and flattering being a wrap style, but I think that the pattern and the colours of this are just, again, totally timeless. I feel like this is gonna be my best summer ever when it comes to dresses. I really, really do. This is a beautiful Zimmerman piece, but you know how Zimmerman's prices can be like totally ridiculous or only a little bit ridiculous? This was on the only a little bit ridiculous side, so I was quite pleasantly surprised with the price of this one. Still expensive though, just throwing that out there. Usual shoes that I have styled this with and also one of my favorite Mirta bags. Mirta, if you remember, is a collective of, I think, I think it's all Italian, or mostly Italian, artisan craftsmen, and it pulls them together, gives them the power of an amazing website, great shipping, logistics, and things like that. Um, but you get the most sensational quality products, and I would never have discovered this artisan designer if it wasn't for Mirta. This is a brand called Viviani Firenze from Florence. Firenze is Florence, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. You've got this beautiful bamboo handle, and then the shape does remind me somewhat of an Hermes Kelly. And the quality is not madly dissimilar. And here is my hair clip. <laughs> this is my favorite hair clip for doing my silk sausage and my heatless waves, um, and I lost it. And it was in this bag, which is <laughs> so great that I now have found it. If you're looking for a really beautiful quality, timeless bag to go with both your smart outfits, but also for um, special events, cannot recommend checking out Merta any more highly. I think they may even have a sale on at the moment. If so, I'll leave all the details in the description box down below. And the size of the handle of this bag is also perfect for popping in the crook of your arm so that you can enjoy your special event hands-free. Well, this is actually a little bit annoying. I was going to end on this dress, um, but actually I don't want to end on a, on a bad note. Not that this is a bad dress, Unfortunately, it just does not fit me in the right places. This dress is definitely designed for people with a longer torso than me, because as you can see, it is the most beautiful structure. You've got this tie around the back, whole to neck tie around um, the top here, and yet the waistband is here, so I have about an inch too much fabric. <laughs> I'm not a very uh, well proportioned person. If you are a normally proportioned person, then this will look absolutely fabulous. The silhouette is gorgeous. I love how it's cut at the bottom for a bit of a kick out. The perfect dress for summer holidays, for showing off a great tan, for showing off toned shoulders. <laughs> not that mine are. Um, but yes, it is a really gorgeous dress, beautifully designed. <sighs> Just unfortunately, doesn't fit me. Darn it and I don't think there's anything I can do because there's just too much fabric here. Not even alterable. But I'll show you how it looks on the model here so that you can see how it's meant to look because all portions being correct. Portions? <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Proportions being correct, it should look absolutely fabulous. 
So instead, we'll end with this one, which is truly fabulous. Another great option as a summer wedding guest dress or summer garden party, jubilee garden party. Really beautiful, bold, vivid flower pattern. And you've actually got some interesting design details. These little studs around the bodice and you've got studs around the sleeve, which give it a bit of a cool vibe if you're not normally a floral kind of gal and you need something to toughen it up a little bit. I love that with the length of so many of these dresses, it really highlights the footwear. So all the more reason to invest in some fabulous shoes this summer. Gorgeous silhouette, gorgeous pattern and great with the accessories. So darlings, this is the final dress of what's new in my wardrobe, things that I've been buying recently and um, things which you may or may not have spotted in the vlogs. So that's all from me, wishing you a wonderful rest of your weekend and I'll see you very soon in the next one.